girl. Police have identified Daryl Brooks Jr. as the person of interest in the Waukesha Parade tragedy that happened just a few days ago. Police have also confirmed that Brooks is being charged with five counts of first degree intentional murder. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. I bring you the actuals and factuals every day and consistently. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because if you miss the video, you miss a lot. All right, so I wanted to bring you all this update from a story that I previously covered on my channel about the Waukesha, Wisconsin Christmas Parade tragedy. Police have confirmed Daryl Brooks Jr. as a suspect. They've also charged him with five counts of first-degree intentional murder. He's also injured over 40 people. Those counts of crimes are going to be endless once they tack them on. But Daryl Brooks is no newbie to the courts, to crimes, and committing them. On November 5th, Brooks was just charged in the same city for resisting arrest and resisting an officer, jumping bail, and recklessly endangering people's safety. So, huge thing. Daryl was actually fleeing a prior crime committed the same day that he drove through all of the people in the parade. So he's literally trying to get away from one, one crime committing another. Ridiculous. He's more consistent than me, and I'm not even joking. Like, this is not a laughing matter. I'm more so gagging at the fact that this individual drove through hundreds of people through police barricades. They also said that they're going to be checking with law enforcement to see how the barricades could have been put up better, how they failed in this situation, and how they can take accountability as to why a car was able to even get to the streets that the parade was on. Because anybody that's going to a parade, you know... Them streets be blocked off boots. You cannot get up, down, you can't park. You could barely come out of your apartment some days. So they want to figure out how to fix the issue so this can never happen again, which kudos to you for taking some of the accountability city, even though you had nothing to do with this person's actions because Daryl Brooks is definitely a shitty individual, right? We're just going to say that. This is an internet rapper that was dumb enough to use the same vehicle from a music video that he used a Ford Escape in. Again, why are you using a Ford Escape in a music video? Like, that's not low quality, low budget. I, we can't do that. But you're going to use the same car that you've been filmed in, and it's public access, and everybody knows that it's your car. Not only did you do that, you drove the car home, parked it in your driveway, facing the street, so anybody could see it. Brooks is not the brightest bulb in the box. Um, that was clear the day that I saw the video. But it's becoming way more clear that this individual deserves to be behind bars. I, I don't say that often. But if I can't walk down the street comfortably, living my life, minding my business, you got to go. So we will be keeping up with this case. I know you all will. Y'all know I'm going to bring you the updates. I definitely didn't think that these were the details that I was going to be bringing you all. I thought it was just going to be like, this is who did it. They was going a little crazy this day, and this was what happened. But this is a mess. This person is going to be convicted. I know. So make sure you turn on your uh, notifications for my post so that you don't miss. You miss a video, you miss a lot. This is craziness. I'm going to keep you all updated on this case. The story is still developing, child. Child.